Okay, wow, LPN going right in. Okay, and this is loser side, so someone is action. going home. Papacaro, okay, now LPN there, you saw him sweeping into a projectile, uh, a thing that would look normal or unusual in other games. So there is actually a hit on Crow's sweep uh, that actually has projectile qualities on it. So he is able to actually counter projectiles with oh. the low sweep. Um, so there's, there's two techniques that Crow has, two sort of advanced techniques that allows him to sort of have a better chance in Fireball Wars. Because um, Crow's Fireball, uh, pretty unusual. Mm -hmm. Wow, great read there from Crow. LPN realizing that Avocado playing Shell wanted to jump and willing to burn the meter to get that solid punish there. Yeah, a little bit of overkill, but hey, you know what? If you got a round, at least you take the round. Take it, yeah. Take that to the bank. Uh, and he's got, it was just round one, two, so he'll have more opportunities. That's not the greatest anti-air with a standing medium there from LPN. Oh, and that gets the solid. job done. I got to use that sweep there, the, uh, right? That low exactly. Yeah. It does have fireball properties on it, basically. So it's got a projectile flag on it, so you're actually able to fight projectiles with it. It's also cancelable, so you can use, uh, you can cancel, you can eat a fireball and cancel it into a fireball of your own. Okay. Nice read there from LPN. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a good job out not eating too much damage despite the very aggressive play from Papacato so far. The other technique that Crow uh, allows him to stay sort of active in fireball battles. Very nice there. You saw that exactly what I talked about with the low sweep into. Is it tight timing on that? But wow, and LPN just dancing around. Oh, but he does that, find a clean hit there. That will not connect from the crouching medium. So I'm not sure what he was going for there, but didn't land it and burned his meter again. Down to the wire here, both players. But oh, oh and a beautiful read from Pavacato. LPN showing he loves to use that low sweep to counter the fireballs. Pavacato fire following in his own fireball, punishing the counter sweep, and that is why I love Rising Thunder right there. It's this is oh, this is how you want to play it. Okay, I've got a counter queued up to exactly what you want to be able to do. I think it's a definition of not only a read but a whip punish as well. Exactly, it's 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 reading, but also uh, this is realizing this is the way the player wants to play this game. This is how LPN has shown. He wants to handle the fireball war. Well, guess what? As Shell, I'm able to make some adjustments here and uh, punish you. Punish. Yeah. So the other technique, which LPN is not using as much, um, or not to date, if you charge up... Oh, Ooh. this is going to be big. <laughs> oh, messed out set up, sadly. Yeah, a slight miss on the setup from LPN. Ooh, good back dash, though. Okay, able to get the scramble. Yeah, yeah the other technique... So great game one to LPN. The other technique that Crow can use is if you're charging uh, a charge fireball, if you're able to release the timing just as Shell's fireball will hit, you can use one of those hits of the three hit charge fireball from Crow to absorb Shell's fireball and the other two will pass through and power power on and stay active. I don't think I've seen that one before actually. Yeah, that's a, it's a good technique that advanced Crows will use. You don't want to overuse it just as we saw the low sweep Fireball canceling technique get punished by a uh, smart shell play from Pavocado. Ooh, yeah. Uh, similarly, there are, there are downsides to that. It does require some strict timing. Yeah, and also, I mean, I just point out the great use of fireballs from Pavocado. You have three speeds on a fireball. Yes. And when he does those baits, he uses a slow one, so he has enough time to follow it up in. Versus, you know, fast is like, okay, I just want to make this hit you. Slow is trying to step a block instead of pressure. Yes. Smart stuff caught him in the throw attempt. And that is what is risky against Crow. Crow with very, very limited wake-up options. Super, of course, being one of them. If you, if the Crow player smells you're getting over-aggressive on the uh, on the throw attempts, and Pavocado needed that throw to try and try and you know create some opportunities. Pavocado smelling he's out of position. Crow getting the fog of war off <laughs> again, going totally invisible. And kind of just how much I love that we have a fog of war move in this game. It really shows <laughs> just the development you could uh, and implication you could do when you know that a player is going to have their own screen. That is true. That is something. Uh, it's a little bit new to fighting games. By having your own screen, you're able to do some things we haven't really quite seen before. Invisibility. Oh, oh, oh. Amazing pressure here from Pavocado. Finds the dizzy. Will he be able to close this out? Huge lead over LPN. Oh. And again, Crow's weaknesses really shiny. Oh, and again, the bobbing up and down. <laughs> a little bit of a taunt there saying, yeah, I know I rocked your world on that one. <laughs> but it is still match point LPN. It still is. Can oh. Pavocado keep it going here? Good nice early so uppercut. Yeah. And now LPN switching up the rhythm saying, 
I'm going to go right in for the throw. Oh, and still, there's a great defense of Pavo calling that with the uppercut. Can he get a good conversion? Looks like he does. Push him into the corner. This is oh, the same the sequence. Tech, though. And a nice double tech here from LPN. Very smart stuff. It is very risky to try and tech throws in this game. If you go for a throw and get it wrong and the opponent neutral jumps, wow, nice combo completion there from LPN. Oh, and the mix-ups are real. Keeps and it going. Dizzy. Oh, so Diz close. Next hit. Yes, there it is. And just like that. Oh, no. Wow, Fog of War goes for the invisible super finish. He's got some swag. He's like, hey, check this out. Exactly. <laughs> Swagging up on Pavaka a little bit. LPN says, no, I'm not going to give up my seat here at the table.